Hey there, and welcome to Ryan's tutorial about creating tables with metadata. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to add metadata properties to elements in your drawing and organize them using tables. Let's get started. Metadata is information about elements in your drawing, such as their total square meter, their brand, price, and more. You can add metadata to zones, walls, and blocks. To do this, select one or multiple elements and navigate to the metadata section in the properties panel. The quad button will open the manage properties panel, where you can manage all properties and metadata in your model. You can then add a new property by naming it and selecting its type, and you can remove properties as well. By clicking on the add property button, you can add or remove metadata from elements selected and insert a value. In this case, I've added to the beds on my drawing a price and brand property. The metadata carried at one level of an element can be transmitted to its lower level. For instance, a property carried by a block definition will also be carried by its instance. Let's add metadata to a block definition by selecting it from the block panel and adding metadata in the property panel. Now, each time I use this block as an instance and place it on my canvas, its metadata will be carried automatically. Keep in mind, metadata carried by a block will also be carried by its parent. When combining two blocks like this bed and this rug box into a parent block, it will show both blocks information, which always remains editable. The metadata your entities carry can be listed in tables. To create a new table, go to the table panel and click on the plus button. Then click on the plus button within your table to select a property. In this case, I will select the area property. You can also enable and disable the wall, zone, and block categories in your table. Now, I have a table listing all the zones in my model with their square meter count and a sum. Let's create another table. This time, I will select the brand and price properties. Note that you can sort, group, and filter your properties. I will sort the price column from low to high price and group my table according to brands. Lastly, you can export your table as an Excel sheet that will be saved on the downloads folder of your desktop. That you can rename each table by clicking on the three dots. And that's everything about creating tables with metadata and wine. Check out our YouTube channel for more useful, hands-on tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next drawing tutorial.